sometimes you just need to get some dimensions real quick. You know, maybe you're doing a, a real quick quote for a customer. You just need some rough dimensions. You know, I don't recommend you use this for fine-tuned plans. But it's a great way to get some real rough dimensions for your plan. Same technique. Shoot the photo straight on as much as you, as best as you can. Import it in the chief. You could import it in the CAD detail window if you wanted to. Save it in the plan, just like we did the floor plan. Scale the photo. Lock the photo, photo on layer if needed. Set the layer for dimensions and draw your dimensions. So you can measure off that. Let's go do that real quick. Let's go into chief. Measuring from a photo. What I could do is go into what's called the CAD detail window. I could go down the, the pull down menu and go CAD detail management. CAD detail management or I could click on this icon right here and create a CAD detail window. CAD detail window is a place where you store all your details for your plan because you don't want to have your floor plan all messed up with all these drawings. You create little CAD detail windows. So I'm going to go new and I'm just going to call it my photo you know, elevation, elevation one, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Here's my blank drawing screen. Now I'm going to go import that photo or just drag it onto my screen, um, which would be this one. All right, so there's that photo I was showing you. Again, it can be any, you know, any photo. If you can't get a really good straight on view, this will still kind of work, but it's it's not as accurate. So the more straight on you can get with your view, the better. All right, I can go in here. Now, again, using the technique I'm going to show you, I don't have to straighten the view. But it doesn't hurt to. It doesn't hurt to straighten the view a little bit. So if I draw a CAD line over that, try to get my siding line straighter. You know, Again, I'm holding my control key down to move that photo more uh, unrestricted. It's not snapping. All right, now let's scale this photo full size. Same technique. This time I'll just use a CAD box. And I'll draw a CAD box and I'll get it close. I just need to know one dimension. I need one known dimension. And I'm going to get this edge here. I'll get this edge over here. All right, so there's my length. So it's 23 foot 2 and a half. I could draw a dimension in there now if I wanted to. I could have just used that same ruler I used before. It doesn't matter. Okay, 23 foot 2. I'll convert that to inches. I mean, you could just use a calculator for this too. You don't have to change the dimension. So I got 278 inches. I do know that the length of this right here is. 26 feet 1 inches, which is 313 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 313, 313, which is the known dimension here in inches, divided by this number. It's going to give me a scale factor. So I'll make this picture that much bigger, and it'll be full size. Okay, so let's just do that real quick. 313 divided by 278 or 9, you can round it up or down, doesn't matter, equals 1.1259. 1 1.12, 1 1.1259. Click on the picture. Transform replicate. 1.25. 1.1259. Click OK. My picture is now going to be bigger. If I pull this box out to here, it should be the same amount of inches. It should be 313 inches. There you go. I could now take this and start measuring off of this photo. If you want to save your dimensions in your plan, um, if your picture is on the floor plan, you might put it on a layer, just like we did with that blueprint before. But what I could do now is I could go set up a dimensioning layer just for this photo. And I could make that my default dimension. So I could start by double clicking on the ruler icon. I could go to my font tab, which is where the layers will be for dimensions. I could go define a new layer and I'll copy this layer and I'll call it 
dimensions, and I'll call it for my photo. Okay, I just want to be able to identify my dimensions better. Cap lock. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to turn the color to red. Just so I can see the dimension better. Click OK. And I'm also going to... Um, so that'll be my default. That'll be my default now. So as I draw dimensions, that's what I'll be drawing. Dimensions on that layer. So I'm going to go into here. And I'm going to use the point to point because there's nothing to snap to here. I have to use point to point. So now I can draw a line across here. Here's my 26 feet. I could dimension this fireplace. I could dimension this window. I could draw a CAD box over that window. I could draw a CAD box over the siding to find out how, how many square feet there are. I could do this. I could draw a CAD line. If, you're, if, you're plant, if your photo is straight, you could draw a CAD line on top of the roof here, and you could then get the pitch of the roof. All right, so again, there's lots of ways to use this. So there's my CAD line. If I open the dialog for the CAD line, and I hit number style, and I change it to pitch. Click OK. I can see that that's 3 and 3 in 12 pitch, which, which is what it is. And that, my friend, is how you can dimension off of a picture. Where I obtained the one known dimension, which was the length of the house, is when I was out measuring the house, I measured this end of the house. Actually, I measured the other end, which was easier to measure. So I knew it was 26 feet, 26 feet one from siding to siding. So that's why I say, I mean, if you have a photo of, of something and, and all you have is, you know, you know it's a three foot by six foot eight door, you could use that for the dimension. But again, the longer the, the longer the dimension you use to calculate your resize factor, the better. The longer you, the longer size. So, I mean, I could have just measured from, from. Uh, I could have got that known dimension just by measuring this, from there to there. As long as I can access that, that's all I need. Just one known dimension to get the resize factor. So, try it. It works. Chief does have a a, a button down here. For resizing or rescaling pictures. Trouble with that is your photo has to be perfectly parallel and perpendicular to the sides of the screen, your dimensions. It, only, it does the horizontal at once, and then it does the up and down once. So you have to do this function twice. So using the scale factor like I showed you is a much, much more accurate. And once you do it a few times, it's much easier to do. So until, and maybe X3 will see this, but if, if in X3, if Chief, in fact, fixes this button. So when I click on that, and I click on two points, and I type in 26 feet, and it rescales my picture both ways at once, we got it licked, man. I mean, that'll work great. In the meantime, we have to use the scale factor, because Chief makes you do it both ways. You have to do it both ways, and it's just not as accurate. And the other drawback is, if your plan is at an angle, you can't do it. You can't get a scale factor off of that accurately. So there you go. All right. So that's scaling a picture.